Now I've mentioned a few times about text wrap and how you can wrap text around a shape. I'm going to give you a basic demonstration in here and then we'll do a little more advanced in just a moment towards the end of this discussion. First off, I'll create a basic shape. I'll just grab the ellipse right here and I'll just drag an ellipse just like that right on top of the image. That's all I need to do. Now on this I can text wrap this shape. Right here you'll see a little button for text wrap, a little wrap text. Now it's going just a little off screen so I'm going to move the view window over to the right just a little bit so I can actually see the rest of that drop down menu. And let's just pull that to the right a little bit. There we go and there's our drop down. Simply choose the kind of wrap that you want. The text can flow to the left of your object. It can flow to the right of your object. Notice that as I move down, we can actually get a preview over there. And you see how the text is now wrapping around that object. You can straddle the object. Text flows to the left. Text flows to the right. This is flowing to the right, but it's going around a square shape as opposed to flowing around the contour. You can straddle the text and do above and below. So you have several options in here. Let's do a text flows to the right and click on that. Now you can adjust the offset if you want to down here. Right now it's point one tenth, or it's one tenth of an inch, point one inch. I can increase that offset if I want to be a little further away, just like that. Now where this is useful, let me move the window back over to the right again. And there we go. Now you can use this to create shapes to position text around anything that you want to have on your image, even if your image is not that shape. All you have to do is use a blank shape. And right now this has a clear fill and I can then hide that outline. Go over here to our little pen tool. No outline. There it goes. So it's, it's an invisible shape and the text is wrapping around an invisible shape. I'll just delete this shape and let me show you how you can actually use this now. Let's go back up here to File and Import. We're back in our War of the Worlds folder here. I have a few pictures in here, three chapters of text and a few pictures in case you want to play with those. Let's switch our view here to large icons. And there's the one I want. I'll import that. This is just a little, a little picture, but we work out fine for our use. I'm going to stretch this out until it goes top and bottom of the page here. There we go. You can see how it's overlapping our background text, but there's some shape in here. This is white, but it's still part of the solid image. So if I did a text wrap on this, the text would be way over here on the right hand side doing nothing much for us. But I want to come in and wrap around this bit here like that. And I can do that with creating a invisible shape. But first we need to put this in the back. I'll right click and let's go to order and let's put that to back of page. There we go. So here's our text. And that's just about where I want it. That's pretty good. We can move it around as we need to, of course. So there's the text. We now need to have a new shape in here which goes around that stuff in the background. So we'll grab our pen tool right here. And I'll just begin drawing with my pen tool. I'll come down. That's about where the clouds start. And I'll just kind of click around here and create a shape around these, these clouds. Then I'll come down to that corner and around the corner. There we go. Then way out to the outside, way up here, and then way over there. There we go. So I just finished that off, and that's my new shape. Now it has, of course, that outline. I'll leave that outline off for a second. But since I have that shape, I'm going to do a text wrap. There's our text wrap button again. And I'll just click the text, text flows to the right, which is that button just off screen right there. There we go. So the text is now flowing to the right of that shape. I can then hide that shape by giving it a no outline. There we go, an invisible shape. And there we go. By using an invisible shape on top of another shape and using the invisible shape with the word wrap, I now have my text wrapping around this interesting graphic that we have for this War of the Worlds. So there you go, there is a text wrap and how to apply that graphically. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. 
You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.